Hey guys, this is Josh from GM Editing Channel. I'm bringing you a really quick tutorial. No, not really quick. It's. I don't really know how long, but just jumping into the tutorial. Change the radius to 200. I'm just going to be showing you how to make the global illumination video, um, sphere or the abstract sphere, which I made a video about. Wasn't too good to the quality because, like, I was trying to render it really fast for y'all. As much I love y'all. But, as you see, you can get a regular sphere right here. Change the segments to 40. Click on type and this right here. I don't really know how to pronounce that word, I'm sorry. But anyways, right now, click on your this right here, which basically makes it a polygon, and click on your masking option. Now click Control A, which is going to select all. Right click, extrude click off of preserve groups which is going to make it a little bit bigger apply it change the offset to 80 and the variations to 60 and you can see it kind of gets that messed up diagonal figure weird but yeah so go ahead and make your material and click on it so you're going to have to do this make the color white I mean, you have to make a white, so go ahead and click on gradient, click on the box, and right here is where you can make your color. Click on this little pin thingy where it's black. Choose any color you want to. Feel free. I'm going to use this lightish blue because it looks sexy with it. Well, not a white. I don't know why I did that, but I'm tired of that thing happening right now. Alright, so make it a light blue. And click on the type right here to circular and make sure the blue is outlining the white so right here Let's make it like make it about right there and now click on reflection change the brightness to about 250 and click on texture Fresno 50 and change click on fog and change it to about 20 and just go ahead and click out of it now just drag it to the sphere and you can see if you render it out you get this sphere where you can see a little bit inside it it's got a nice sick little color so now just click off the extrude option click on your regular selection tool and now add three lights drag the first line up right above the sphere so yeah, I'm having a hard time with this mouse right now it's really aggravating yep I hate my mouse See if I can't see it. I don't know. It's not letting me choose it. There we go. That's my fear. Sphere. Yep, it's right there. Of course. So just go ahead and drag it down to the top of the sphere. Drag it back right there. About right there. As you can see, just a little bit in front of it, so you can see the front part of the sphere and. Click on the second line and just drag it out to the right. About to right here. You can drag it up a little bit. Makes it look better. I'm just going to keep it right here. So, click on Shadow Map Soft and Volumetric. And kind of make it where the volumetric touches the sphere. And by the way, you can go ahead and go to the first light and click on Shadow Map Soft as well. Now for the third light, this is going to be the lighting inside the area of the sphere. And look inside it, just go ahead and make sure that it's in the middle of the sphere. So go ahead and change the coordinates to, let's see, change this to 15, 
15 and 15, not 14, 15. There we go. So it has a light. Okay, outstanding. And click on lens. And what I'm going to do right now is make it a blue. Try blue too. And go ahead and go back. And now if I render it out, it kind of looks like, should kind of look like this. Yep, exploding light. I'm going to go ahead and make the plane to make it look better because I'm about to add the orbs. Do that. Add a plane. Make sure it's on the bottom so you don't want to ruin it. Right at the bottom about there. So width, I would say change it to about, just add two zeros, it doesn't really matter. No, 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 no. I'm just going to put it at some random numbers just to make it bigger. I just see it already bigger. It's already bigger. I'm just going to make the floor a kind of gray. So click on color. Right there. To a really dark gray. Reflection. Change about a 50 or 51. 51. So go ahead and drag it onto the floor. So go ahead and add another sphere. And let's see. Click on the array tab and add array. And drag array into the sphere. Make sure not to drag the array. I mean, not to add the sphere into the array because that won't work. Let's go ahead and close that down. Okay, the array, you want to change the radius to about 500. Wait, no. You might actually have to drag the sphere into array. Yes, I was right. I was wrong before, but I was right now. So, just go ahead and change it to a 200, I think. No, don't do that. I'm so tired of this mouse. It's aggravating as crap. So go ahead and click on array. That's what I'm wrong. That's where I'm wrong. Let's try 300. Let's try 400. There we go. And no. 550 maybe? Okay. So what you can do to make the arrays look better is choose the color of whatever your like sphere color was before like that little bluish color. Go ahead and click on reflection. Fresno. Just gonna change it back to that. Now click on this, drag it to array and I would bring down the array a little bit. Make it look a little better. Go ahead and render it out and let's see how good it looks. As you can see, it looks pretty beast. That's how you make the global, basically global illumination abstract sphere. And just another thing, you can click on the sphere and click on the explosion tab or the effect tab, drag explosion into the sphere and change the strength. Or you can do that as well, but that looks pretty cool. Um, you also can drag this explosion into the other sphere. I think this looks pretty beast as well. Make it to about 11. And look how beast that looks. I mean, this is not what I was going to show you, but it kind of looks like kryptonite. If you were going to make a green color, dear lord, it would look like kryptonite. But, that's not what I was going to show you. But, change the randomness to zero, and you can see it makes it look pretty much better. Render it out. And as you can see, you can see the little reflection, everything looks pretty beast. And a glow. Yeah. Thanks for watching. This is Josh from Jam Channel. Pretty sure I told you that from the beginning of the video. So thanks for watching. Like it, favorite it, comment, and subscribe.